Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you the best OBS settings for recording your screen This is not for streaming. Once I do learn how to stream, I'll obviously teach you guys how to do that. So if you want a streaming tutorial, let's get this video to 300 likes. And also this is not a video on how to record, this is just the best settings if you want to know how to record and how to capture your monitor. Uh, there will be a link in the description for you guys to click on. Um, I'll show you everything you need to know on how to set up OBS to record. There will also be an annotation and card so you guys can press on that. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. So first off, you just want to press settings. That's like the best OBS settings. Why, did, why else did you come here, right? And so here you don't want to change anything unless the language is English and you don't speak English. And I don't know why you're watching this video really. Uh, you won't understand any of it. But here, enable cruiser over projector. I'm not sure what 100%, but I believe that just showing the cruiser on the recording. If you disable it, you might not be able to see it. I'm not, I'm not sure. Here, minimize to notification area and notification area icon. I believe um, the notification icon area is right here, so you'll be able to see it here. So something like Bluetooth is here, like the dash line, uh, see if, like your USB whenever you connect it, stuff like that. Here, if you go to encoding, um, I, I just move the bit rate to the highest. I believe that increases the quality, but the file will be bigger once you render it or once you save it. Stereo, um, keep it stereo so you can actually hear it on both sides. So if you have like headphones and you do mono, it'll only like you'll only be able to listen on one, one headphone. I believe that's the case. I'm no audiophile, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, codec, you can choose whatever you want. Um, I did AAC. I believe that if you do MP3, um, it'll be compressed, so the quality will decrease a little bit. But if you like the, your video editor doesn't support AAC. Um, just make it mp3 it's not really a big deal format i didn't change it but i believe 48 is better just because it's a higher number i'm not sure 100 so just um just keep it the same if you don't want to mess anything up you can test it for yourself obviously so broadcast um settings here so once you first open it up you'll probably see that it will be live stream like the mode will be live stream put a file output only um if you if you want to live stream do live stream obviously the file path will be dot flv at the start and, and you won't be able to, it'll, it'll be like something in videos or something. It will appear in the video section. So what I did was I changed it. I just wrote desktop instead here. And I changed that dot .flv to dot .mp4 because um, I'm used to F mp4, I guess. Uh, yeah. And, and I also changed this to dot .mp4. I didn't change anything else. So I just press apply once you're done that. And here on video, um, this is whatever resolution your computer is or your laptop or whatever. So if you have two monitors, you can capture um, either one. Um, if you have three or four or whatever, if they're different sizes, you can choose which resolution of which um, monitor you want, or you can just do custom and this is like whatever you your monitor is. And here you can downscale the resolution, not sure why you would do that, the aspect ratio, and you can choose the video adapter. I believe this is your graphics card. Uh, yeah, you can choose if you have more than one graphics card. And then there's like the FPS if you record in 60 FPS, if your computer can handle it and just press apply once you're done that. Audio here, you can choose the default audio device. So mine is the Blue Yeti um, microphone here. And you can force it to mono, like I said before, um, not a good idea. Desktop audio um, device, this is, I believe the speaker. So I would choose the real tech high definition audio, but let's do default. And if you want to change that, you can just go into playback devices. And my default one is, these are both my default ones. But I use this one. And yeah, I kept all that the same as well. Hotkeys. Um, this is if you want to like pause, push, like like mute stuff. Just add shortcuts if you really want to. I didn't do anything. It doesn't um help you, your audio improve or anything or your video improve. So if, this is really personal preference if you want to do that. Advanced. I never really use this. I never checked any of this out really um I, i'm pretty sure only geeks will know about this um I, I don't know any of this so if you're like me just skip this part and yeah that's really all you need to know um, if you do want to know how to actually record it you can actually do that yourself by checking the link in the description hopefully you guys did enjoy the video um, my throat's a bit sore and I, I just lost my voice a couple days ago so if you can notice that um that's the reason why so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Please hit that thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.